Here I am um, getting ready to do my macro shots. So I'm just gonna first show you what I've got set up here. I don't know how well it's going to work, but I've got, it's just a laundry basket with a blanket over top of it. I found these, um, it's like a manger set because um, I figured I was gonna do like my Christmas tree thing. So I've got these three little wise men here. So, um, and then also I've got this, um, I've got a lamp over here to the side because I wanted a little extra lighting. Um, you could do this next to a window or you could get someone else to hold like even just a flashlight You know set up on the side over here just to give you a little extra light So first of all think about you know when you're framing your pictures up you can get pretty close So I'm right here within about two inches and if I tap with my thumb on the screen It pulls up this little box and you can sort of see like if I'm tapping and it's not coming into focus It means that I'm a little bit too close. So I'm going to take a picture of this little guy right here. Now, not all of these are gonna be great. Um, I guess I'll keep my, I'm gonna shoot long ways here. Um, I'm gonna shoot with these guys in the background here and just try to get a couple shots, see what it looks like. I feel like I need a little bit more light. And I'm pretty close. I'm about, I wanna say I'm like three inches from this guy's face. All right. Um, what I've decided to do is turn off some of the lights that are next to me and just really get in here very close and start focusing in on like individual ornaments. So I don't know that these are going to be the greatest shots, but as you're getting in close, I'm about three inches away. And then find your area of focus. Let's focus in on that bird's face and then tap there. And you might have to do it a couple times because my phone keeps moving. So same thing here, like if you're going to focus in on, say, the light reflecting off of this icicle. Make sure you tap to find focus. I'm gonna try to get in a little bit closer. do um, when you're finding focuses here you know that if you take your um, your thumbs or your fingers and you like you can find focus and then you can slide your fingers apart and zoom in a little bit you can do that I wouldn't go too far with it because then it becomes a little confusing but it does allow you to get in a little closer than you normally would this is just an upside down cupcake wrapper So, you know, there's the picture. There's my Christmas photos. Um, so it allows you to, I don't know, like you get in here and let's see what in other interesting things we can do right here just on my kitchen stove. Um, here's a garlic press. So if you wanted to like make mechanical looking pictures out of different things and get real close and do some macro shots. You know, just real quick, I can sort of knock out a couple of these. It doesn't have to be anything super fancy. Now you've got to watch, you can sort of see how this is starting to get a little grainy um, because I'm in so close on it. but it allows you to get real up close and get some of those macro shots that we're talking about because you want to focus in on the elements of design. Um, you know, I'm thinking I'm going to probably do texture for mine. Um, I don't know. So, you know, experiment, get in real nice and close with some things. But you don't know what that is. Hmm. So as you are, as I go through here, you're taking these photos, um, you're not really thinking about the objects that you're photographing. You're just trying to get interesting, you know, color, value, texture, leading lines, 
Um, so maybe my theme is things I find in the kitchen. And I can shoot through all of these and just make, you know, a really interesting photo shoot. It doesn't take me very long. You just watch this video. It was only a couple of minutes. And I certainly got enough photos to, um, you know, put a contact sheet together and have a theme.